and I have over the years had friends come to grief from scenarios exactly like this. Uh, one that comes to mind, and I wouldn't mention any names obviously, but uh, a fella and his wife flying south uh, across the uh, Appalachians, I guess they are, in Virginia, and uh, came to grief going home in a Sky Raider, trying to get back from an air show, pushing the weather, business meeting Monday morning, absolute uh, textbook scenario, and ran into the mountains. I uh, had another close friend actually who flew into a gravel pit trying to get home in, a, in an old float plane, trying to get back to the Hamilton area and got lost in the, in the uh, in snow, snow showers and uh, came to grief uh, in a gravel pit. So these sort of things happen with alarming frequency and surprisingly they happen to very, very experienced uh, pilots. And uh, the truth of the matter is that way back when I was flying to the East Coast under pressure for time because uh, we had a sponsor and we had to be out there for an air show and uh, I put us into weather I had no business putting, putting us into and we ended down basically skimming the water, fog on the treetops, and I thought we were, we were gone. And the only way we got out was I saw a waterfall, and I dove over the waterfall, hoping there would be a valley there, which there was, and we came out of that into a wide valley with a runway. And if that hadn't been there, I wouldn't be here. And I have not pushed the weather since. I think it's, it's the high time person who's become complacent uh, with respect to safety. I've been there, I've done that, I've flown in worse. Uh, it tends to make you press on when normally you would turn back. If I am flying somewhere and you start seeing thunderstorm cumulus, towering cumulus building, you really watch it. And as soon as you have that, oh, it should be okay, that's when I turn around goal. Always have, always preached it. Uh, the reason I say that is because then you live to fly another day. I think sometimes you need a shot of reality, a reality check and, uh, and a way to, uh, to, to make it happen is to go out there with an instructor, work under the hood, or even better is book a session on a seminar like the one that we have here and uh, to, uh, you know, to really push the envelope. I think it does make a difference in my attitude. I, I'm determined to learn more, even though I'm getting up in years. I, I'm determined to learn more because I don't want that to happen. I, again, I think one has to be careful. I don't want a little bit of knowledge being the thing that gives me overconfidence. And the other thing is the weather. I, I may, I will stay on the ground. I don't have to. I don't have to go, and I don't have to come back. <laughs> and that's the bottom line for me. And that's what I want. I want to fly another day. If you're going to have instrument training, get proper instrument training. Don't just do enough to know, to know the basics. You really need to know how to do real instrument flying. Because the danger is, if you've done a little bit, you'll think, ah, I can get out of it. You really can't. You, which I think we've all demonstrated today. When in doubt, stay home. <laughs> it's better to be on the ground wishing you were up there. The most important thing as a pilot is decision making. Know when to go, when not to go. Know, you know, know your limits. But at the same time, when you got your pilot license, you didn't just get a license to fly VFR. You got a license to learn. So the best thing to do um, is, to, is to learn. Learn, get more skills, get more experience, because it's only gonna help your safety. It's only gonna make you be a smarter pilot. I've been in the scud running, as many of us have been. And as I grew older, I knew that this was not the thing to do, and I tried to avoid it. Even if you don't ever plan to fly in high conditions, it's, it's not gonna hurt you. In fact, it's only gonna help you to fly, to, to fly in a simulator or fly in a plane with a hood on and learn what to do. Learn how to rely solely on the instruments rather than on other senses, rather than the horizon. Um, it's only gonna make you a better pilot. I think we have an adage in flying, use your superior judgment to avoid getting yourself in a position where you need your superior skill just to survive. And for me, that's the final message. Just stay out of that kind of weather.